You know when you've seen something really cool and you just have to shout it from the rooftops? Well, that's me with HubSpot and CRM cards right now. I just think they're super cool. Um, if you don't know what a CRM card is, basically, um, when I'm on a deal here in HubSpot, on the right-hand side, you can easily add apps that are related to the deal. And so in this tutorial, I'm going to show how you can get GuideCX projects to show up really easily with these CRM cards. So the way we're going to do this is we're going to come over here to the marketplace and we're going to search for a guide CX in here. And what's that, what that is going to do is that's going to help us install the CRM card. And so it'll take me into my guide CX instance. Now, if I come here to our integrations section, we are going to connect up our HubSpot account. And I just love how easy this is. Um, I can't tell you how easy this is. You just come in here. It'll take you right to your HubSpot account. You click that, choose your account. And right here, it's just going to say like, it's going to make some changes to your account. It's going to allow us to put CRM cards in there on the deal and update them as, as projects are running guide CX. So we'll agree to it and we'll connect the app. Awesome. And so what, what that's going to do is now, this is where the fun part starts to happen. If I come back to my HubSpot account, let's come back to a deal that I am working on. And we have Elliot's Energizing Energy Drinks right here. At the very bottom of this deal, there's going to be a Guide CX. There's a Guide CX project here. And so there isn't a project here yet because this deal is not closed one. What I like to do is I like to move this up a little further up so that I can see it. So now when I'm on my deal page and I'm a sales rep, I, have, I, I know what deals have projects, onboarding projects associated. And so now all that's, all that's left to do is we are going to do one more thing in our GuideCX account. We're going to be using the new recipe builder to customize how these deals flow into our GuideCX instance. So this part is also really cool because we have this awesome community library where we've done the heavy lifting for you. So if we come in here into our community library, we're just going to search for HubSpot and we are going to install a community recipe. This right here is just going to create deals, um, projects from our HubSpot deals. So we'll click use this recipe. I always like to put it in a folder. So I, I pre-made this HubSpot folder right here. So we'll copy and save it. And now all that's left to do is we just need to make sure that we have our HubSpot credentials in here so we can customize the recipe. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that my HubSpot credentials are on here. So I'm going to, I'm going to add my HubSpot account. And then the other thing here is it requires a project manager. And so you could customize this way more. I'm just going to set myself as the project manager here. But there's a lot of interesting things that you do here. So I'm just going to save and exit the recipe and then start the recipe. And now we're going to see some magic. So let's go and close that deal. I just had a great conversation. We're going to go and close this deal. Let's say we sent it to close. We sent out the contract. They liked it. Close won it. And if I come back here, what Recipe Builder is doing is it's waiting and it's listening for recipes. But if I want to trigger it, I can actually uh, pretty easily trigger it manually right here. So like I mentioned, it's checking every four minutes. But if I want to trigger a job just for testing purposes, I can say check for jobs. And we can see that it found a job. And so now what it's going to do is it's going to create that project in our guide CX instance. And we can see that it picked it up. But if I come back to my projects page over here, we'll see that it created a project for that customer right here. It assigned me as, as the PM. It also assigned a cash value. But the real exciting part is if I come back to my HubSpot instance and let's refresh this page, we are going to see a CRM card pop up that shows a lot about the project, right? So it shows the start date, the status of it. Um, if, if I, as a user, have access to the Guide CX, it'll take me to the overview page. And the great part about Guide CX is how all users can be free, right? So if sales reps um, and other people, CSMs, can be observers on this project and can come in here and see this overview as well. So that gets me pretty excited. Like I said, CRM cards, I think they're awesome. Um, as, a, as a Salesforce admin, this is really cool to see. And I think this is definitely a point for HubSpot in the blue versus orange debate. Uh, yeah, so I hope you like this tutorial. Thanks.